I'm recording you. Right. Watch the reflection in the nut. <laughs> Say something interesting. It's something something interesting. interesting. I was too. Um, I was too. Well, I put the clock in the, the battery in the wrong way, so it did start. Oh, which clock are you talking? The one, your old one. Adjutinous. The one you can't even move. Adjutinous, the one on the market piece. Mm -hmm. ah, this was her birthday as well today. So it was. And everybody's busy in the kitchen. Hey mate, you've never seen this before, but this is this is a, a, a video camera. The size of your hand. Oh, for goodness sake. I know. And you get to have a look at Ian as well. I took my soup earlier so that I could dish up. Oh, no. And you never knew I was in the, the tabard forever. I think you told Did you not tell me? Well, I told her at the time the man was out. Forever oh. tabard. He's not got a speaking part, though. Oh, yeah, I'm just walking in the game. And they were ever going to get a picture of that? Yes, it's in the... It's on a DVD. It's in a DVD. Oh. You'll see it after whatever one. Like. He's famous. He was getting credits and everything. <laughs> Starring the very famous Ian McDougall. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, funny. He's dead, like. The man was allowed to park in our parking place, so he said, I better put him in the fill up. That's what it was. That easy, then. <laughs> I have got me that and uh, Freddie Gillis's book, The Wee Toon. The Wee Toon. Campbell Toon once more, now. Don't leave me jealous. <laughs> well, you've got wine, do not you? <laughs> As a job got that grant, I can tell you. And that blend has spilled it all over the ta tablecloth as well. <laughs> you and the black look <laughs> stuff. Did you notice Glenda's is tight now? No. She's got purple tartan ones. Oh! <laughs> what? Somebody with GB with them. Uh, yeah. No, it was in the hair of magazine, but no, that's what it was. Courtesy of Oban. Our, our, our big day out to Oban that we went, instead of, instead of going to Crete, Fabian, uh, we waded up and went to Oban instead of Crete. Instead instead of Crete. No much difference. Mm -hmm. That's when the, the airplanes were all grounded, wasn't it? Uh, well, your soup was very nice, Mrs. McDougall. Thank you. 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 Thank no, these, these soup thingies are just about the right size because if you have a big plate, you fill the whole thing up and you... That's what I do. And you're not able for your, your main course. Yeah, you're not able for it. No, that's ample, Anna. Just that, a nice... I'll not tell you the price of the Femi, but it's the butter dish we want to know the price of, but he, he's sworn he, he was weird when she bought it. Mm -hmm. so. And it is the most expensive butter dish in the world. I bought that set of dishes while I was working for me. Because I knew once I retired I wouldn't have the same money to... You know, no. to <laughs> you wouldn't have the same money. She used to buy it six plates at a time, or six this... I don't know why you thought that, because she's loaded. <laughs> oh, me? Aye, aye, aye. Is that right? She's loaded. Aye. You don't call them big shot for nothing. <laughs> No, I'm, <laughs> I used to buy them, it was Fraser's, and then she bought six at a time until she built up the full set, you know. But he never ever told me the butter dish. I thought when I was in the Jubilee with all the tubes through me, you would have told me then. You know, no, that was, I'll just whisper the price to you to send you over. <laughs> <laughs> you go, how much? <laughs> <laughs> Tell uh, Femi about Christopher's. Uh, oh, Christopher, the last night I was with, there. With, with, uh, <laughs> last of the summer, when a wee boy like that, oh, no. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I,
Daddy so was watching it. <laughs> sure, he was here once and he went back home to his, his mother and he says, there's a new program in TV and it's old mannies. <laughs> old mannies. <laughs> old mannies. You know the way they speak up, no. <laughs> His mother says that's been going for years. Oh, I never ever saw it this <laughs> The two of them used to slip and watch it with Anne and I. Uh -huh. At least it, there's no swearing in it, Femi, or anything. It's a nice program, you know, you can watch it watch. without worrying about swearing or anything. I remember watching uh, that Andrew Lloyd Webber thing when uh, down here the, when they were down here in the summer, the uh, horrendous thing, what is it called? The Maria ah, thing, I, I, the Maria I, thing. Oh, another one, the, um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, question mark or whatever. Oh, uh, somewhere over the rainbow. Big crowd up at Monica's a day. Aye, the ball be. Well, that's all. What do you, what do you call them? She got her family out. Yeah, um, Jack and... I wish they'd say it name. They used to go to church and all the rest of them. Ah, stop. I don't know why. Well, he was playing the organ up the loft, wasn't he? No. So the name stays down the road from Femi. Weir. It's Weir the name. Oh, the Weirs. Ah, they were going up to him. They were going up. They were going up as I was coming out. <coughs> as I was coming to meet you. <coughs> Baby saw a black car coming up and she was halfway down the road and it was the wrong car. Oh, <laughs> you can just get in. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have been a bit surprised right now. <laughs> no, they were getting out and walking up. I said, oh, well, they were going to Monica's. They were going to Monica's. One was walking up and the other was still. He was parking the car. I said, that? that's funny. You'd we'll be looking for bald heads. <laughs> You'd be looking for either his bald head or my bald head. I'm not as bold as you know. It's a couple that is, uh, they're both, they live together. Oh, ah. Uh, the what? The one of the... A civil partnership. Oh, right. Two men in a boat. Eh? Two men. Two men, ah. Uh. Why don't you know them? They live over. Uh, you know where uh, they are? Jack and John. Jack and John. Ah. Jack and John. I haven't seen Jack in for a while already. No, it hasn't been well. He's got broad, broad he was, cancer. Uh, so he was all thing with muffed up to mm. here and a scarf and he said, Fanny, it's so cold and he was frozen. Well, that was, was that cold. extra bad weather, wasn't it? Uh, I said, well, it what has been very cold. I think he has prostate cancer and he might have some that's other right, kind of cancer. Because John was telling me one day, now takes chemotherapy pills. Pills. Uh, I didn't know you think you'd keep no. my pills either. No, you know. I never knew that. But it was Marion that was in the hospital where one of the ladies that used to come in for treatment. She got came with her every pills. As yeah. where there's the lady. I think I read that. Yeah, there was something about that in the, in the paper about these pills. Ah, yeah. I think they're only out lately, right enough, yeah. Aye, yeah. <coughs> did, did they tell you about their big adventure when he was coming up to. Uh, to Glasgow by the bus for his treatment and he ended up getting turned back in Bally. <laughs> it's all right for you buggers to laugh. <laughs> I was looking forward to getting the treatment. <laughs> and when do you get it now? We don't oh, know. we don't it's know, baby. That's what I'm We did have kicked up a row, but it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> she, the porter one phone once day. Oh, we're tra still trying to get you through as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. Is that plenty for you now, eh? No. No? No. <laughs> no. get any more now. I've got a second help me. No, yes. you <laughs> Do you want brown sauce with that, baby, no? <laughs> brown sauce and brown sauce. I don't know, you... Keep hands still okay. in case you spill it. Oh, right. I like brown sauce. That was me, then. I think I'll do well. <laughs> You'll never manage all that. I know. <laughs> I didn't get Linda sprouts because I know she doesn't like sprouts. Right, on you go, get started. I don't know, your birthday, 
You managed the whole lot who were doing it by like a tea. No, I think you did enough. I never thought you'd manage the sweet. You managed it. <laughs> well, we'll just take our time now. We can have a, our sweet at our leisure. You log in plenty of time. I'm still feeling the effects of last night. Are you? <laughs> oh, did we much to do? It was you who was singing Fuck the Magic Dragon, and I was going to be in control from the open mist. Yeah, I was doing that bad, David. <laughs> I just felt quite dry. No, fine. I said to you, Marina, but I don't think Marina's here, so... No, we never saw her. Could you pass the salt, please, darling? Okay. Right, so, Femi, I'm saying, darling. Right. And you, you never saw Ernest last night, did you? I haven't seen very many people at all. No, Femi, you, you would know if Ernest was here. Did you see Ernest? No. Where is she here? She was at... <coughs> Something was to say. How do you spell it? A O A U N I C E. You find this one of these tarot things, isn't it? When something's spelled completely different. No, was it garlic? I thought it was a man. Oh, right, right. No, no. I was walking through the jungle in Ghana along a track, and this. Of course you were! <laughs> <laughs> and this well, like, that's a tangent. The, the, this jeep pulled up mm. and the, 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 he'd come out the jeep. Well, Jake, what are you doing here? That was Alistair. Father. Small ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had a wee bit celebration that night, right? Enough, I must admit. Mm -hmm. the park. Oh, no doubt. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> Honest is a teacher. She used to teach in Glasgow and then she got a job in Campbellton. She does a, a sort of an in between between the top second top primary class and she helps the liaison up to secondary. So that's what she's doing here. And the head of the centre in Hamilton was the place where jobs were most um, you know, most applicants paired, you know, yes, job in job Hamilton. Mm -hmm. the whole we Jimmy, if you have anything that's everything. too much, just leave it. Everything was closed down. The last time we were down there, everything was closed down. All the shops in the main street appeared to be shut. Well, Glenn, I was in the barbers one day, and the two girls, there was two girls that run the barber shop, and uh, <coughs> that was the day that the sky callers or whatever said they couldn't pay the wages. And this Englishman <laughs> was sitting in the chair, and he says, I don't want windmills round about macro energy. I don't want windmills round about macro energy anyway. <laughs> the two girls, both, both of their husbands, worked in Sky. <laughs> 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 they said. <laughs> Sky Corp is the door, one of the girls says. I hope they build windmills in front of your house and you don't get any money for it. <laughs> if there's anything that's too much for me, just leave it. Just leave well, it. Yeah, I wouldn't be offended. Just take your time. My hand's very nice. Mm -hmm. I cooked it with orange slices underneath it and everything. Oh, that's very nice. Very Jamie Oliver. And I grated, I grated the rind of the orange on top of it. And I put some cinnamon on it as well to make it Christmassy. Although Christmas is past. <laughs> Gordon gave her the, the thing we in the TV, the, other, the idea in the TV the other week. <laughs> no, I usually bake the ham and orange juice no. anyway. Well, I've never done it like that. It must be good because when you were in the toilet, Dad had a bit three slices. <laughs> 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 I was nibbling. <laughs> I like nibbling. I, I must admit, I do like nibbling. Did you hear from South Africa? Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you had this morning, good. good. A whole lot, my grandchildren, a lot. Good, that's phone, lovely. Phone call or Skype? Uh, um, Skype or phone call? Have you got Skype in the house? or? No, 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 she goes up to Catherine in Lachalphead no. and she gets Skype up there. Where's Catherine and Joe up? 
Convicted. And get down. Get down. I thought maybe they were up at the daughters, you know. No. <clears throat> no. All the all the, the daughters of and their family, they're all at Catherine's. Oh, all right. right. Oh, that's lovely. They're all there. Lovely. Catherine's been <laughs> doing the dinner there, brought them all there. And so do they have turkey at this time of year as well? As well. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I spoke, I spoke to them all. Well, you spoke to them that all. That was them all. And you would tell them you were being looked after and you were getting taken, taken here for your lunch, did you? For lunch. That's mm -hmm. good. That's good. What's the temperature in South Africa at this time of year, Femi? Hmm? What's the temperature in South Africa at this time Very of year? Very cold. She said, the weather is dreadful. Oh, really? Ah. Mm. Terrific rain, she said. Torrential. Cape Town is well done, you know. Ah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you could... I, I've passed Cape Town for loads of times and I've never seen the top of that mountain yet. Yeah. It's always been covered in mist. Well, I was, I was up to the mountain. Uh-huh. I was, I was up there. Yes. Uh-huh. That's where I saw it. Cause I, mm -hmm. Remember you gave me the video to look at? That's right. And mm -hmm. it, it was clear that day. Mm-hmm. Right, they were saying something? Sorry, Linda. <laughs> I don't know, I'll go around South Africa last month and we, that's what they were complaining about, the rain, well, they're, they're CEO complainers anyway, but yeah, the rain was terrible. Well, I was speaking to John Black last week, you know, Jim Stroop? Mm -hmm. And he says, you wouldn't believe it in Queensland, flooding and... Well, mate, we saw the flooding in the TV, know. didn't we? He says, they, they had no rain for about, virtually no rain for about 10 years, and now they're getting 10 years rain at all at one time. And says it's French one. And cold. So she'll not be using her swimming pool then, is she? No. no. <coughs> but you must remember, Cape Town's pretty far south, you know. Mm. Just, you know, just have to come back to Scotland. <laughs> 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 to our lovely snow, baby. <laughs> well, all the families out there do pay me in them. I know what they but that's where they used to, when the whaling ships were in the go, when the season closed, they, they lay up in Cape Town and then the men came out to man them to go do it back down to the ice. And it wasn't, you know, it's not that far away, really. I watched a lovely video, a lovely TV programme last night about the polar bear. Did you see that? I watched that for a wee while mm. and then I turned over from the... The lottery? Uh -huh. Aye. Well, we never checked, but that. Well, I checked, but I don't no, think. No, I've missed it. a lot there, yeah, because I've missed that as well. It was the million, the Euro millions or something. Aye, and was there only one millionaire made last night? It was be twenty-five. No, that was the week before the Christmas one. No, it says twenty-five in your certificate. Did it? Mm -hmm. Because Dad, I was through making your sausage rolls. We had a week in the supper after the bells. Well, we had it before the bells, actually. <laughs> I, uh, and he said, you don't have to help me, I, have, I can't write all these numbers down at once. I said, well, you just have to, because I couldn't leave what I was doing, so I presume I'll check it in the shop. Uh, right. I see the code does, does a lot right now. I, just, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. It's only lately it's started. Uh, and I, I, I went <coughs> last week, well, at the weekend, uh, after in the weekend, um, and Saturday, that's right, the lottery. Not, uh -huh. uh, and, um, last Saturday. Aye, uh, last Saturday. There was a, a, a card, I had uh, two cards. I thought, I scratched them, but I can't understand this cards. Because before, <clears throat> this other ones, I don't know why they're different. I don't do scratch cards right in the hand. I Auntie Peggy used to do them. And I, I said, I, I brought that in, but I don't think it. The same thing on it or in the thing me. I had four pounds. Well there you are. That's, uh -huh. well, that's lucky I never seen that. Uh -huh. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Well the Thunderbolt was Thunderbolt. it right? Actually, that's lucky I never seen that. Uh -huh. I think Brenda does all these scratch mm. cards. I see her in there all the time, you know. She, she must spend a fortune. She must do. And she smokes as well, mm -hmm. so she's she goes in there and her way up to the school. Uh-huh. 
and I don't know how many she has. It's five or six, and then she's back in when she, and her way back down. What friend of <laughs> Is the house sold yet? Then? No. 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 The same still there, I don't know uh -huh. it's the name. I thought that, that house would go because it's. With a lovely view. View it's got. What's the that house? It's Morna. It's called Morna. It's, oh, it's right. on the. Beside where the Mellish is staying that. But it's a wee pokey house inside. It's, the rooms are small, but the sitting mm. room's nice. The sitting room's nice. Yeah, they, they made it upstairs as well. Oh, did they? Mm -hmm. Oh, right. I remember when Kitty was in it when she made the kipper through the back. Ah. <laughs> I thought Catherine McAllister might have gone for that one. You know, because they were looking for ah, somewhere with that view. There's, a, uh, there's no garage. No, no. You don't want to leave your car. Ah. You know, that's that. the only thing. Just out in front of your mm -hmm. house, that's all. Do you stay in town? No, it's Over at Garvel. Over at Garvel. Outside of the, the harbour. You know, you, you know where we were uh, last night, just when we had a look in at the Vic? Uh, uh, just up along that road and, and down past oh, the point. Oh, yeah, I don't know where you're at. Yeah, I know, but there's a kind of like side road that goes down uh, and along to where all the yacht point is. We nearly took a walk there around the old, the old bit last time. John couldn't believe it. Anne sent him, John Black, she sent him a picture of the, the new pontoons, you know, and all that. I took a photo of the new walkway and I got, got a few copies made in Ian Toes. So we sent one to Reg Potter in Australia. What? He was married to a relation of spiders. I don't know if you remember Margaret, them. Margaret Bray? Margaret Bray. Yeah, uh -huh. And uh, I sent one to Reg and one to John Black. Mm -hmm. Cheese. That's okay. It's been recorded for the last 20 minutes. I'll tell you that in a squeak. Maybe just leave it if you're full. Don't, 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 don't force yourself. Don't force yourself. Do you want my potatoes? No, no, that's... Stuffed animal. Give them to... After midnight and then eating it on a... I know, I know, I know. Give them to Horace. Even Horace is full of it. Oh, Horace is full as well. Horace. Hungry Horace. Hungry Horace. Hungry Horace. It was very nice, darling. Thank you very much. Lovely. Thank you. Lovely, Anne. When I used to be at home, uh, we had a two-course meal about six o'clock, and then at eight o'clock, he used to take his tray up for his supper, full of bananas. <laughs> you want a wee bit more wine, thing? No, no. I shall get a bit of drink. You just mix them together, Phoebe. You'll be fine. <laughs> Don't listen to him. It's a good job I'm getting a lift to him. I hope you're full. Oh, you know you're walking. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Well, the, grand, the, the water men were working at the, the park at the the Colberry Road end the other um, day um, because there's a leak someplace or all over here. And, uh, they're standing there digging a hole to get down the pipe and the deer are standing looking at them. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a young deer, the young deer for a week or two. <laughs>